So what we're looking for here is a clean and steady burn. With ethanol shield, once you light it, it's got a nice blue flame. It burns steady. Uh, it's not inconsistent. It's bringing the water out a little bit. I don't know, camera guy, zoom in a little bit. And you can tell it's, you know, it brings that water back out. But it's not flaring up. This is a very consistent burn. All right, let's take a look at what happens over here with G. Okay, G is very sooty. You can see the soot coming off of it. And inside that engine, once that water gets warm enough, it's creating massive havoc inside your engine. Soot is just bowling up over the, over the top of it. It's very, very hot. So G got very, very hot, uh, burned very consistently. Ethanol shield burned completely. Let's see what F does. Again, very sooty. F is extremely sooty. It's might even make the smoke alarms go off in here. Never really actually thought about that. Um, just crazy. Look at that black. It's it's terrible. So that's what's happening inside your exhaust system. I mean, it it's just it's it's gunking up every sensor you have in there. Now, once that water starts moving, now we do have fire extinguishers here. Where I do not recommend that you do this at home, obviously, and that's going to put a hole right in the top of your piston too. That is some wicked stuff. And it left water at the bottom. There's still carbon in there. With ethanol shield, it leaves a nice oily residue on the metal to keep it treated. Okay, let's try the next three, see what happens. Okay, for the next three, we got I and H with ethanol shield in the middle. Whoa. I is not, not friendly at all. And it's not even lighting, it's just, that water just blowing up. Ethanol shield burns steady, no soot at all. I have no idea what H is going to do. Again, super sooty. I don't know if you can see that smoke billowing up. Um, just absolutely terrible. That one's going to that one's going to have a hot spot in it. I can I can feel it. Might just blow up, I'm not sure. And it's just there she goes. Whoa. That was insane. Good thing the uh can was in there. If that would have touched anything that would, you know, metal surface, that would have been that would have been junk. Again, the ethanol shield burning nice and steady and true. Water's coming out through vapor. So we got the fire extinguisher. We're gonna have that ready just in case. <laughs> um, D, the water remover. That stuff has a high flash point. Now D did absorb the water but it, it's got a more erratic flame. It burns pretty clean. It's doing a good job of burning. D did not decarbon. I can see the carbon in the bottom of the can. Um, and it's, it's making that flash point a lot higher. It's more volatile. Let's take a look at J. J did not decarbon either. It did not absorb the water. These are pretty, pretty strong contender, but it, it's still an erratic flame. And it didn't decarbon the system. Let's see, 
Jay, the water's starting to bubble now. But there's where the erratic. Out of all the products we've tested, D has been the closest. But um, it's still a little bit sooty. You may not be able to see it on the camera, but it's a little sooty. We're coming right off the flame. Um, it didn't decarbon. I can still see the carbon in the bottom of the can. So with J, you can see the carbon is still there fully. Looks like there's still some water in there. It's kind of dry. It, like, it, it put a cakey texture on the bottom of the can. Well, the D is gone. You can see there's carbon still left over and there's no, no oil residue at all. So D did not protect the metal. K. And once again, just to show how it burns compared to the others. K's got some soot to it. It didn't decarbon. I can see the carbon on the top. It didn't take care of the water. And it's super erratic flame. Very, very messy. It's got a high flash point. What surprises me is most of these products didn't do anything that they said they were supposed to do. They didn't absorb water, they didn't decarbon, and they burned extremely erratic. Putting your engine uh, in danger, putting your fuel system in danger. Okay, very dry, very dry can. Carbon is still almost un untouched at all. Ethanol shield again puts that nice Nice coating on the metal to keep it protected. Okay, E is gone, it did decarbon. There is a little bit of a residue on there. Uh, burned quite a bit hotter than we wanted. The carbon did not come off completely until it was burned. From a top down view, once again. Showing the water. Ethanol shield pulls that water right out of there. The competitor just lets that water sit inside. So it's going to let that water touch the metal, touch the rubber, touch the gaskets. So we light cam fire. We'll let ethanol shield on fire. Nice. Dangerous, dangerous stuff. So it's super hot. It even left some of the water down in there. You can buy ethanol shield at um, any better dealership, you can get it on our online store. The mix ratio, the mix ratio on this is one ounce per five gallons. It comes in 10, 10 ounce, it comes in four ounce, and it comes in a mechanics bottle of a gallon jug. So there you have it, Ethanol Shields Motocast Review. My name once again is Ryan Harden. Don't miss us for our next episode. Thank you.